Hello dear audience, Grandmaster Sege Shipoff is with you again commenting on the 6th round game from Chorus 2009 tournament. Today we're going to take a step away from the group A and we're going to take a look at the game from group B between a young Chinese lady, Yifan Hao, and a long time Brazilian veteran, Enrique Meking. So let's take a look at what happened. On hurrying maneuvers in the close position, that is exactly what is needed for an already mature player against a young, tactically talented lady. Though black is worse off because of the sad positioning of the knight on a5. But there's counterplay on the king's side. Maybe Yu Fan isn't agreeing with me. Enrique believes his opponent. The knight by Rubinstein's laws is striving to f7, so he didn't study the classic himself, I guess, but Meking probably did. The sides marked their own plans, made for black or just dis the destruction of the queen's side for white. Who reaches the goal first will be the winner. And the goal is close. Now that's a total transformation. Black's position became flexible and solid. The veteran is for now well off, but the whole battle is still ahead. A clear hint about the quick knight sacrifice on f5. And play on time. An attempt to close the side. And a display of superhuman composure. Analogous. Black's counterattack on the queen's side didn't work. If the white knight shows up on c4, then everything will be bad. The last hope on, is on the breakthrough, f5. Exactly what we were talking about. White is consistently increasing the pressure, and black is standing on the same spot still. Yi Fan Hao is methodically pulling the rope to her side. The preparation for the breakthrough f4. Black is totally passive, white is choosing a moment for the blow. Meking is in the sharpest of taint knots. Now that's how we do it, like the veterans do it. Give up an exchange so that life would be easier. To ground pincher sound taught to play like that. For the full picture, the only thing missing is the move 9h8. Finally, the storm started. Subtle. A surprising counter blow, with the king under fire of the enemy rook. Now that is called risking everything. Admirable tenacity. Black has had it bad for a long time, but the game is continuing on. Looks like the idea with the trade of the knights relieved Black's defense, but the same is still problematic. An exchange down, white is attacking. The final is close. The baby is very tired and is looking for simple ways to win. For example, here instead of playing queen g3, she could have played king h1 with this variation. But again, queen g3, bishop f6. How? Why not play instead bishop h5? But again, queen e3. On the other hand, either way it's won. The opponents are playing blitz, not paying attention to the tactics. Here, instead of queen e3, could have had this variation, queen h7. And mate, queen takes g7. But again, queen e3, bishop f6. 
As they say, if not one way, then the other. The girl won't let the veteran stand up from the table alive. And as a bonus, me off the commentator's set. I see. Good job, Yifan. How? Plays on the large scale. The pawn, while all is quiet, runs to the finish line. Just a bit more. Go, Yufan. Go, go. How tenacious. Impossible. What, what can you do? What must happen will happen. Black resigns. Bravo to both athletes. Played a powerful game. Young energy overcame the mature tenacity. What can I say? Bra uh, the group B also has very interesting games. Thank you very much for your attention. Have a good day.